Do you ever get a song stuck in your head for like several days and no matter what you do, you cannot figure out what the name of the song is? Well, a large group of people on the internet right now have the same exact song stuck in their head and none of them can figure out what it is. That's probably because it doesn't exist. Cue Goosebumps intro. to find a creative solution to do intros and not make them cringy. Better yet, someone just take away my phone privileges. That's all we can do at this point. So it's not necessarily that this song doesn't exist, more of it's lost. Lost media. It's not a new term to the internet. In fact, people have been discussing lost media for years and years. I can hear some of you saying, Dash, what is lost media? And don't worry, my friends, I was getting there. Lost media is any media that is believed to have been forgotten or no longer exists in any format. The term primarily encompasses visual, audio, or audiovisual media such as films, television, and radio broadcasts, music, and video games. Thank you, Wikipedia, for that pretty spot-on explanation. And those are words no teacher wants to hear you say, because they, they hate Wikipedia. I don't know. So about this song that I mentioned. This song has been infiltrating online platforms, okay? I mean like YouTube, TikTok, Reddit, you name it. And the reasons for that being is one, it's insanely catchy, and two, it's classified as lost media. This song has been referred to as everybody knows that slash ulterior motives. And I mean, just listen to it. on this mysterious song thanks to a fandom wiki page yes this song has a fandom wiki page on october 7th 2021 a user with the nickname carl 92 uploaded a 17 second sample of the song to what's that song he claimed that he found the song on a file in a dvd backup from 1999 the snippet of the song was later uploaded to youtube by jk this audio recording was recorded with a 15.734 kilohertz pilot tone that was only present in MTV broadcasts exclusive to a selected few countries. 15.734 is also the horizontal frequency of NTSC CRT TVs. That was a mouthful, meaning that the recording can be captured from a CRT TV tuned to a North American TV station. The recording was also likely captured via a computer microphone. I hopped onto What's That Song and oh my goodness did it make me nostalgic. It just looks like a website straight out of the early 2010s or early 2000s. It reminded me of Groove Shark. If any of you even know what that is, it like shut down forever ago. So just explaining this website a little bit further. So essentially people post these clips on What's That Song of a song that they don't know the name of, but they really want to find and people come together and find it for them. It's a pretty cool concept. So the account Carl92 has only posted two samples to the website, one which they actually found the name of and two of course being ulterior motive slash everyone knows that. When he first posted the sample, he described it as mid 80s, bad quality, everyone knows that. And while I was on this website, I also discovered that it had my favorite characteristic of early 2010s websites. Shady pop-up ads. Anyways, people wanted a longer audio clip and Carl was like, uh, sorry, that's all I have. So alas, we only have this 17 second clip, but it's something, so I'll take it. When it was uploaded to YouTube, it was actually remastered. So the audio was much clearer and it sparked a lot of attention on YouTube. And that's actually how I found it. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say not many people know what's that song. I mean, I didn't. Like I said, it spread throughout multiple platforms and it even has a forum on Reddit dedicated to finding the song. R slash everyone knows that. So as of right now, what day is it? Monday, March 25th. The song has not been found, but that doesn't mean it won't be found. In fact, some lost media has been found. And many people took it upon themselves to recreate the song as if it was like the real deal, like what they think it would sound like. And by golly, are they good. In fact, a musician known by Motives actually just uploaded their full version of what they think the song would sound like. And my goodness, did they do an amazing job. I'm immediately adding that to my playlist. Thank you very much. Banger. Literally, I was jamming out to it while writing the script for this video. So there have been a lot of theories about where the song came from. People have tried putting puzzle pieces together by comparing the song to songs that sound similar to it and could have potentially been altered to make the everyone knows that sample. But alas, no match so far. The main theory for the origin of the song right now is that it was made for an 80s commercial. I mean, it was recorded off of a TV, so it could be entirely possible. Especially if like no one knows the song. I mean, if it was like a normal song released by a label, you might be able to find it easier. Or it was just released by a label and it didn't really take off, so they kind of like scrapped it and like hit it somewhere. <laughs> I mean, it could have been deleted, but if it did have like an official release, like there was an MTV music video, then it would have to be somewhere, right? Or some people would have to at least remember it, right? Right? 
but it could be a long lost song that appeared in a commercial, like a jingle, I don't know. On their Reddit forum, a user known as better underscore tower underscore 7700 brought up quite the interesting theory. They say, I'm not sure if this topic has been discussed or not. First clue. There used to be games, card games, board games, etc. that came with audio tapes, probably videotapes as well. These tapes could contain, for example, recordings of interrogations of people involved in fictional unaliving on which the resolution of such a game depended. Perhaps the EKT is an outlier of one of such games. Examples. And then they have a link to like one of these audio tapes. Second clue. There were toys that came with VHS tapes. An example is the Incredible Crash Dummies line, from which I personally had several toys that included a VHS tape with a 25 minute short film. This was the tape. And then there's a link to the tape. This again would make sense because it was recorded using a TV. So if it was a tape that was put in the TV, uh... Could have been recorded using the TV if, you, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Perhaps the EKT was recorded for something similar. And I actually really, really like this theory. If it came from a board game and it was in the 80s, you'd probably have a harder time finding that. And maybe it wasn't a board game that was like successful, so not a lot of people have it, and hence why not a lot of people know the song. And I mean, something along the murder mystery vibes wouldn't be too bizarre. I mean, let's just look at the lyrics. At least the assumed lyrics because the audio isn't that great, no offense. We counted all the shapes in the sky, caught in a world of lies, everyone knows that. Yeah, you got ulterior motives, yeah. Tell me the truth. I don't know why I left that line out when I was doing my, uh, beautiful musical number there. So again, I mean like a murder mystery game or just a mystery game wouldn't be that far off. Something along those lines would fit the song perfectly. Something that makes you question if you could trust the people you were playing the game with. I feel like a food commercial or a makeup commercial, depending on the line, wouldn't exactly fit the vibe if the song was made for a commercial. But then again, a lot of the time people don't actually pay attention to the lyrics and more of like the beat and this beat is catchy. But if it was made for a commercial, the lyrics might be more geared toward what they're trying to sell. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think the song will ever be found? Let me know. I'm curious. Or if you have any knowledge or theories regarding this law song, please let me know in the comment section because I am all ears. Anyways, I think that's gonna be all for today. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. I had an absolute blast making this video and I hope to do more stuff like this in the future. But yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, Brussels sprouts.